Builders from around the world have spent countless hours, blood, sweat and tears for our moment of glory. This is The Streets. This is Road Warriors. Custom diecast racing. Eight teams race over eight weeks in a head-to-head -head battle to see who becomes the champion, the master. The Road Warrior. The rules. Best two out of three. Each winner scores a point. If you win the battle, you score a bonus point. First up, we have the modified 67 Chevelle, America Muscle, driven by Blue Line Racing. Next up is the modified Zuru Buffalo, weighing in at 89 grams and driven by Super Zero Racing. Road Warriors, Battle 1. First win goes to Super Zero Racing in 11 and 2 seconds. Blue Line haven't crossed the line and they're in trouble right on their side. This was Blue Line's race all the way until turn two and they just stacked it into the sidewall. And eventually just flipped over and just left the gate wide open for the Buffalo. Super Zero Racing. of race two is Blue Line Racing and a 9.18 second time. Very well done. Both these cars are even down the back. Blue Line has just got this beautiful turn, hits the sidewall, floors it, takes a nice line out of turn two, bit of a slide and he crosses the line for his first win. Super Zero Racing cross the line for their second win and they also take out tonight's first battle. Excellent racing by these two teams. Blue Line Racing goes out hard. The Buffalo driven by Super Zero Racing just sneaks on the inside and eventually gets across the line and takes out tonight's battle. Blue Line Racing also gets a point on the board. Super Zero Racing win the first battle of tonight's customs. Two races won and a bonus point for the battle. Total of three. Red Warriors, battle two. James Clemen of 100 Proof Racing is driving the caddy truck. This is a modified Volkswagen weighing in at 120 grams. Going up against 100 Proof is Hot Car Track. I'm behind the wheel this time and I'm driving the Hot Wheel Super Van weighing in at 112 grams. Proof racing with a very fast time of 8.06, cross the line. This is very quick. Some sloppy driving right down the back and out of turn one. However, James Clement in that caddy truck, dominating Mount Western Raceway. Camera just cuts him off there, but he floors it and crosses the line. Savage blocking there by the caddy truck right on the finish line. Let's go again. The caddy truck's holding a lot of weight of 120 grams. Look how he swings around that turn two. 
and he just forces himself into the rail and then blocks hot car track and that super van. Crazy stuff right on that finish line. Proof Racing get across the line and also take out tonight's battle in that mighty caddy truck. My money was definitely on that Hot Wheels super van driven by Hot Car Track. Coming out of turn two, he has the advantage. Floors it here, hits that side rail, but check out Clement in that caddy truck. Slamming all over the place. Floors it, crosses the line and takes out tonight's battle. Well, there you go. There's the winner of Battle 2. 100 Proof Racing driving the caddy truck, and they scored three points. Road Warriors, Battle 3. Battle 3. Reckless Robbie is driving for NZ Racing. He's driving the Nissan Skyline with FTEs on the back and weighing 74 grams. And next up, we have Redline Savage Inc. from the States. He's driving that Ford GT with FTEs all round. And this car is weighing in at 88 grand. Redline Savage Inc. coming in backwards takes out the first in battle three. Down the back, Reckless Robbie in the Nissan is in perfect position. However, Redline Savage Inc. and the Ford just sneak in front of him, puts it in reverse and decides he's going to win the race this way. Considering the Nissan driven by Reckless Robbie only has FTEs in the back, he's done a great job. And there's Redline Savage Inc. coming in backwards and gets his first. Redline Savage Inc. and the Ford GT get across the line in the 9.06 and win this battle. A nice win by the Ford GT. Look at Reckless Robbie, he just struggles and hit that sidewall. He's just lost power completely. And it's Redline Savage Inc. all the way. Look at that swing out of turn two. That is beautiful driving by Redline Savage Inc. He scores two wins and he also gets the bonus point of winning the battle. Well, there you go. Redline Savage Inc. driving the Ford GT40 gets three points out of Battle 3. Road Warriors, Battle 4. Battle 4, we have my Hot Wheels collection from the UK. They're driving the custom Mr. Bean. It's a modified Mini weighing 90.4 grams. Next up in Battle 4 is Poe Boy Racing from the USA. He's driving the Zuru Metal Machine Nitro Rider, weighing in at 60 grams. Mr. Bean, driven by my Hot Wheels collection, gets across the line, gets his first win in a 9.03. This Mini has some pace, I've got to tell you folks. I thought Poboy and the Zuru would have done a bit better than this, but it's the Mini all the way, driven by my Hot Wheels collection. Look at this thing go. Oh, it's just beautiful to watch. It just loves this fat track. Well done, my Hot Wheels collection in the Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean takes out that battle, coming in backwards again in a 10.9. This is an excellent battle. Mr. Bean goes out hard. Have a look at Poe Boy. Swings down low, tries to get under him. The camera's just blocked him off a bit, but here comes Poe Boy again. Check this out. Swings there. He should have had this one. Mr. Bean just sort of pushes him to the side, 
coming in backwards and it's my Hot Wheels collection across the line and wins the last battle of tonight's customs. A nice win by my Hot Wheels collection. They've won two and they've got the bonus point of one for the win of the battle. Let's dissect this leaders board. On the left hand side are the points. Each win gets a point and each battle one gets a point and they're added up and that's where the total goes on the left hand side. In the middle you see 1B, that's how many battles the particular team has won. A very big thank you to the sponsors of Road Warriors Season 1. Please go check out their YouTube channel and their social media for without these teams, Customs Road Warriors would not be running. This is the streets. This is Road Warriors Custom Diecast Racing.